Now, what do you think of this idea? Whitehall should promote civil servants because of talent rather than time served. It's the call today from the, excuse me, the think tank Policy Exchange. The reform of government commission has recommended less reshuffling of ministers, more efforts to be made to extract external recruits to the civil service and ministerial training courses. 72% of the public are said to want Whitehall to be reformed, so it's better prepared for future pandemic-like disasters. Let's talk now to the Commission's chair, who's also a former Ofcom chair, Dame Patricia Hodson. Good afternoon to you, Patricia. Good afternoon, John. So, Patricia, promoting civil servants into higher positions on merit, you could argue, couldn't you, that it's odd that that even needs to be said? Well, I'm afraid you're right. Um, uh, let me just put it in context a bit, and then I'll come on to that really core point. Uh, we've known for years, haven't we, that government struggles with big programmes, IT, defence, transport and so on. But it was COVID that really shone the light on it because it was costing lives. So Policy Exchange brought together a cross-party commission, and that's important because this sort of reform takes years, not to judge what happened under COVID, but to look at the machinery of government, including the lessons of COVID. Now, we took evidence from vast range of ministers and advisors and senior officials and former officials, Pemsex and so on, um, were pretty open about the layers of bureaucracy, about suffocating process. But it was um, serving officials who, of course, spoke to us under terms of the most extreme confidentiality, who talked to us about the real mess, about their inability to appoint their own teams, you know, all having to go through some kind of stultifying HR process that, that hindered rather than helped. Um, uh, they told us of um, their direct command chain that might change three or four times in a year. And official figures show that civil servants move on average faster than ministers. How can that be yeah. sensible? Yeah. And so we distilled ideas and we think that there is an appetite as a result of COVID for the lessons to actually be applied. Well, I guess I guess we will we will see. I mean, your your uh, commission report, Patricia, says, I mean, among many other things, that promotion and higher pay should be encouraged, but only on the basis of evaluating performance, which just, it really seems to back up the idea, the stereotype of lots of civil servants sitting there in, in their pinstripe suits, forgive the, the extreme stereotype, and being awarded with ever broader pinstripes as time goes by, purely uh, by dint of sitting there. Yeah. Well, what happens at the moment, too often, and I'm, I'm, I ought to make it clear that I am not dissing civil servants in general because we talk to so many very talented people and clearly the triumphs of COVID, you know, the team working that brought in the vaccine programme. They were working with outside experts, even with the military, but an enormous amount of, of what happened when they began to get grips was down to very talented civil servants, but they talked about, and I've sat in government meetings, I mean, I work with half a dozen departments, and I've sat in government meetings where I've seen performance assessments that are literally decks of paperwork with endless box ticking. And I expect you and I know from our own personal experience that what you need is your immediate boss and then the top boss simply to have a conversation with you on, a, on the basis of an assessment that goes on your file and it should be as simple as that and it no longer is uh, in most places in the civil service no. and also mm. too many departments you can't get uh, a promotion or a pay rise however well you've done unless you move to a new job now that's ludicrous because you lose expertise you lose the the memory that uh, departments are supposed to have about difficult issues of course Different departments are different, but there is rather a lot of the things that we found and put in our report. And there's also quite an appetite from serving civil servants at many levels for more responsibility and to be held accountable for that responsibility.